Breaking down the walls, people. It's great. <laughs> it's about damn time. Once a movie has been written, rewritten by another writer, shot, edited, re-edited after studio notes, notes, color corrected and mixed, there is one last piece of technology that has the ability to make or break the film's success. No, not Twitter. <laughs> the projector. When that audience sits in a darkened theater, the filmmaker's vision is finally on display. With the ever-increasing demands for the best-looking image, Texas Instruments DLP technology has become a world leader in digital projection, striving for the best audience experience whilst being true to the artist's intent. I feel so stupid because I thought they only made calculators. <laughs> TI-82, yeah. <laughs> TI-83, TI-89. But they really just never stop working. It's great. The DLP technology uses over two million digital micromirrors that are so tiny, each pixel is one-fifth the width of a human hair. The projectors can light up a movie screen 100 feet in size. With over 117,000 projectors being used worldwide, whether it's in IMAX, 2D, 3D, 2K, or 4K, most likely you're watching it on a DLP cinema system. <laughs> yeah. It's exciting, it is. This technology has impacted so many areas of digital projection. Tonight, we honor nine individuals for their work. First, to Harold Milligan, Stephen Kreitschow, and Reiner Deutskis. The Academy presents a Technical Achievement Award for the development of the Texas Instruments DLP Cinema. Please come on up. The Deutz. The Deutz. Yeah. Good evening. On behalf of Harold Milligan, Steve Kreitcho, and myself, we'd like to thank the Academy Board of Governors and members of the Academy for this honor. Although we're based out of Dallas, the DLP Cinema team has always considered Hollywood our home away from home. We are very grateful for the warm acceptance we've received from the Hollywood industry as we work together to get our DLP image technology adopted. So we'd like to thank the studios, post-production facilities, creative community, standards community, exhibitors, and our industry partners that have all supported us to make this adoption a reality. We'd also like to thank Texas Instruments, which considers innovation the very lifeblood of the company. Although only a few of us have been singled out for this recognition, we would have not, it would not have, been, would not have happened without the tremendous efforts of many on the DLP team. Thanks again to the Academy for this honor. Last but certainly not least, we'd like to thank our families and our wives, Jill and Karen, who supported us through this amazing journey. Thank you. Thank you.